Okay, guys, so today for writing, we're going to talk about sequencing. Now, we've mentioned it in reading last week, and all sequencing is is putting things in order. So I'm going to show you something on my table of how I get ready in the morning, okay? So first, I brush my teeth. Can y'all see my little picture? Okay, first I brush my teeth. After that, I put on my clothes. Then I get out of bed. After that, I eat breakfast. Then I wash my hands. Then I go to sleep. Does that make sense? No. What's wrong with that? No. That's how I get up in the morning. What's wrong with that? How did you brush your teeth and um, put on your clothes, but went back, but got out okay. of So one at a time, raise your hand, because it's a lot of noise. So who wants to tell me what's wrong with this? Raise your hand. Estrella. It's in the wrong order. Oh, it's in the wrong order. So what's wrong? What do I need to fix? First you get out of bed. So if someone else tell me, raise your hand. What do I need to fix? Hector? First you get out of your bed. Okay. Then who can tell me what, what am I going to do next after I get out of bed? Um, Zoe? You brush your teeth. Okay, then I'm going to brush my teeth. Good. After that, then what? Um, Miracle Rios? Put your clothes on. What was that? Put your clothes on. Put your clothes on, is that what you said? Good, then you're gonna get dressed. After that, then what? Javel? And you'll eat. Then you eat. Then what, Alea? Wash your hands. Then I can wash my hands, and then later that day I can go to sleep. Now, do you see, boys and girls, how putting things in order is very important, right? If we don't put things in order, then will the story make sense? One second, I'm gonna see um, if someone in my class can turn off their, because do y'all hear an echo like I do? Yeah. Oh, my No. Is my thing is on and this was in that way. That's why I was saying that. You know my computer was facing that way. Okay. I'm nice and quiet. There might still be an echo, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so do you see how putting things in order is so important? Because if we don't put things in order, then guess what? Our story will not make sense, right? It's not going to even when someone's trying to read it, it's not going to, it's going to be like a big confusion, right? So that's what we're going to practice today with our writings. We're going to practice adding transition words into our story, okay? So you are going to need your writer's notebook because we're going to take some notes over transition words. So grab your writer's notebook. It's the one with the piece of paper and the pencil. Brian, go grab your notebook, please.
Hold up, hold up your writer's notebook so Miss Waldy can see it. All right, we are going to be in the pink conventions tab. All right, so we're going to be in the pink conventions tab right here. Open it up. It's going to be after yesterday's notes. So yesterday we did types of sentences. It's going to be right next to it. Okay, so open up into the pink tab and we're going to do our notes on that side. Which page do we turn it to? We are in the pink tab, Mason. Conventions, right after our types of sentences notes. All right, for our title, I want you to title it at the top in the big white space, because remember, that's where our title goes. You are going to write transition words. Because remember, everything we do has to have a title. So title it transition words. Now we are going to divide the rest of the paper into three equal pieces. Okay. So in order to divide it into three equal pieces, we're going to have to draw two lines horizontal. Okay, so you're going to go down a little bit and then draw a line going across. Then you're going to go down a little bit more and draw a line going across. So like I said, by the end, you should have three um, pieces. Miss Wally. So for those of y'all who just came in, we are in our writer's notebook. We are in the pink conventions tab. So remember, Josiah, if you don't have this, just use a notebook at your house. So open up to the pink tab in your writer's notebook. We are right after our notes we took yesterday and we're gonna call this one transition words. Okay, give me a thumbs up when you finish your title and your two horizontal lines. Okay, on the right side of the journal, I mean, I'm sorry, on the left side of that page, not the right side, the left side of the page we're going to draw circles that take up the left side. So it should kind of look like this. So your notebook should look like this um, before we start writing. All right, give me a thumbs up when you do your three circles. Okay, I'll put 
write it down. Your title is transition words. Okay, so this image is supposed to imitate a stoplight. Who's ever been at a stoplight before when you're driving and those big things that are hanging from the, the poles? Now the first stoplight color, what color is that? Who knows? I saw Mason's mouth move. Mason, what is it? Unmute yourself, Mason. Green. Green, good job. So I want you to put inside this circle, put get going, because green means what, guys? Good job, green means go. So not right now, because I don't want us to waste time, but later you can get your crayon and you can color the inside of this one green, but not right now. Are we gonna do it now? No, right? You can do it later on your own time. You're gonna color this first circle green. Okay, because green means go. What about the middle circle? Who, who knows what the, the middle circle means? Or what color is it? I'm sorry. What color is it, Trokayla? Trokayla, what color is it? Unmute your, yourself. Yellow. Yellow. And yellow, we're going to put keep on. So that means we just keep on going. Well, in my case, Miss Waldy's case, I keep going on yellow lights. Some people do slow down, but I just keep going because I got places to go. All right. So later on, you can color this one yellow. Okay. Remember, are we going to do it now? No, because I don't want us to waste time getting our colors. And then the last color, who can tell me by raising your hand, what color is the last one? Um, Josiah? Red. Red. And so inside the red, we are going to write time to stop. Okay, and so later on, you can color the inside of the red, this last circle red, okay? Now, boys and girls, we use tr um, transition words in our writing to help the flow of it, right? It helps our story flow a little better. So for the green circle, these are some transition words that we can use. And let me say something really quickly. The, after we use a transition word, we always need to put a comma. So after I write all these transition words, make sure you always have a comma, okay? So for the green section, the get going, I want you to write the word first, because first is a get going transition word. Make sure, look at how I capitalize the letter F in first and I put a comma. That's very important, guys. Whenever we use transition words, it has to be capitalized and it needs a comma. Another green transition word is as soon as, comma, right? Because we always start at the capital letter. We add a comma. Or we can also start our story with it started when, so remember, we use these transition words, the green ones, to start our story because green means go, right? So we're going to get going. We're getting our story going. But in order to start our story, we need to use one of these three transition words. And this is very important. Ms. Waldi is going to be looking for capital letter to start your transition word and a comma after, okay? So copy these on the green stoplight. All right, so now let's go on to yellow. So we are going to use yellow transition words in the body of our paragraph. So in the middle of our story is when we're using our yellow transition words. Now there's a lot of yellow transition words, okay? So this one, do not skip lines. One of, 
for the first yellow transition word we can use is next. Now notice how I started with a capital letter and I have to use that comma. Another one we could use is later that day with the comma. Another one is then, comma, also, comma, later, comma, meanwhile, comma, and the last one is after that. What's wrong, Aubrey? Let me see. Is that better? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't, there's no way I can make it clear, June. So remember the yellow transition words are the ones we use in the in our body paragraphs. No, are you writing, sir? Ms. Flores, is the attendance working for you? You were? I don't know why it's just loading like Okay, and then the last one is the red circle. And this, we use these red transition words when it's time to stop our writing, right? So that's the end of our writing and it's the conclusion. I'm gonna give you three of them for this one. So one could be finally, comma. Another one is in the end, comma or as a result, comma. Okay, so we use these one, th one of these um, transition words whenever we're going to end our story. Because remember, when we're, we're authors when we write. So that means we need to tell the reader by using one of these transition words that our story is about to end. Give you one more minute to write, then I'm going to explain the assignment for today.
All right, so we began the writing process last week, correct? Now we talked about that this writing process is gonna take us four weeks to complete and we are currently on week two, so good job. We're almost halfway done. So today we're gonna work on our sequencing skeleton. Now there's some of you, and I have a list, so if I call your name, you're gonna to have to stay after and talk with me because you have not completed some or if not all of your writing process. So Brian, Prince, Aubrey, Ethan, Caleb, Amri, Miracle Roque, Julian, Nadia, and Josiah, you need to stay after so I can talk to you, okay? Because you are behind currently and I don't want you to be behind anymore. But for everyone else, you have already done your brainstorming. So you gave me a bunch of ideas. You did your expanding the topic. And today we're gonna work on our sequencing skeleton. Now notice we are not worrying about the introduction and we are not worrying about the conclusion. Do you see where I put stars? Those are the ones I want you to complete today. Okay, so in this first box, it says type transition word here. So I want you to figure out which transition word are you gonna start with? Now remember, we always start with our green transition words. So I need you to choose a transition word from the green spot, right? So Miss Waldy is going to choose, it started when, pay attention Aubrey, stop playing. Now notice how I started with the capital letter and I need to put my comma, okay? And the rest of my sentence I'm gonna type here. So it started when I was racing down the hallway, okay? Now, because remember, my topic that I chose was the time I cut my chin open. So I'm telling you about that time. So it started when I was racing down the hallway. Now I'm gonna go to my next paragraph. And for my next paragraph, I'm gonna use a transition word from my yellow circle. So I can either choose next, later that day, then, also, later, meanwhile, after that. But I'm gonna use a transition word then. So then, comma, I slipped on a pile of clothes as I turned the corner. Is my screen getting good so far? All right, for the last paragraph, you are not going to choose a red transition word. Let me repeat myself. For the last paragraph, June, you are not choosing a red transition word. You are still choosing a yellow transition word for the last paragraph, okay? So for my last transition word, I'm gonna choose next, comma. Next thing I knew, there was blood everywhere, okay? Now, have I gone into detail yet, boys and girls, of exactly how it happened? No, right? All we're doing is our skeleton. So I'm telling you a little bit about each thing. Later on, well, next week, we are gonna go into more detail on our rough draft, okay? But right now, we're just getting the ideas of what happened. So let me repeat that again. For the first box, you're using a green transition word. Okay, so I'm gonna change this star to green because we're using a green transition word. Okay, I can't find it, but let's just move on. For the next one, you're using a yellow transition word. And then the last one, you're using a yellow transition word. Later on, when we do our conclusion, then you'll use a red transition word, okay? But for now, we're not worried about the red transition words yet. All right, and then once you're done, you're gonna click turn in. Okay, now I do want